ever since Michael Bloomberg announced that he would self fund his bid to be the Democratic nominee, his campaign has tried creative ways to kind of get his name out there. Now, since he's not taking donor money, he has not qualified for any debate. So how does he get his messaging out there? Well, he's trying to make himself into a meme and I didn't buy this narrative before until I was presented with quite a bit of evidence. <laughs> so um, let's start off with the latest example and then I'll give you previous examples. This is a video of Mayor Bloomberg acting like a robot while eating ice cream. Where's my ice cream? Ah, thank you. Mmm. Big gay ice cream is the best. So big gay ice cream is ice cream, like it's an ice cream brand, I believe out of New York. So just to clarify mm -hmm. that in case you don't know, I don't have a problem with anything he said. It's about the delivery. Can we watch it again? Like let's watch it with audio cuz like I know he's wealthy and maybe people feed him, but has he never used a spoon before in his mm -hmm. life? It's just amazing. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look again. Where's my ice cream? Ah, thank you. Mmm, big gay ice cream is the best. Ah, the delivery is so weird. Big gay ice cream is the best. Like, it's, it's just so, I don't know if he's ever used a spoon. And also the weird thing is like, you want the social media strategy cuz it's like you want to like connect with people, like be one of the people. Mm -hmm. And the way that you demonstrate that is by having one of your lackeys bring you your ice cream cuz you want yeah. I'm not going to go get it. Get me my ice cream. It's just so oh, it's so weird. <sighs> but so I I really want to try the ice cream now. Oh, oh like yeah. Like if I go to New yeah. York, I'm definitely trying the ice cream. No, this is a big win for Big Gay Ice Cream. Okay? Mm -hmm. But um and look, maybe in some ways it's a win for Bloomberg because I had no interest in talking about him on the show. He had, he had nothing interesting to bring to the table and now we're talking about him. Um, now we're not talking about policy or anything relevant to our lives, but uh, we are talking about him. So I guess it's kind of a win for Bloomberg. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there are other examples of uh, Let's see it. his little meme strategy. So. Uh, his media campaign, I'm sorry, social media campaign put out like this weird post of meatballs, literally. Okay, so there it is, meatballs. And test your political knowledge, spot the meatball that looks like Mike. And so, okay. I, <laughs> All right, so there's more, okay. After that blatant attempt to get meatball Mike trending, they continued that evening with a Twitter poll asking where the best place on your body is to get a Bloomberg tattoo. So there's the poll, 42.6% of the respondents said forehead. I like that the second most popular option is lower back and then there's thigh and neck or neck and thigh. <sighs> yep, there's more. So look, he has outspent every other candidate because he's so wealthy and mm -hmm. he joined the election not too long ago, right? Um, so he's outspending, he's not involved in the debates. This is his way of trying to get some attention. There are other examples Jeez. of weird ads that he's put out. Let's go to this dog ad that got some attention recently. Mike Bloomberg is the man to lead us. He will create more jobs. Mike's not afraid of the NRA, not one bit. Trust me, Mike will get it done, yeah. <laughs> get it yes. done, yes. He does not tweet. I like Mike. I like Mike. I lick Mike. I'm Mike Bloomberg's dog. I approve this message. I'm Mike Bloomberg and I approve this message. So if you're listening to the podcast version of the show, uh, there are insanely cute dogs uh, mm -hmm. talking. Uh, at, yeah, oh my god, these dogs are so cute. Actually, to, you to know what? I'm, gonna, I'm not going to criticize this one. This is actually You're not going to criticize it? Yeah, I he mean, has like, so it's much weird, money but I like that it. <laughs> he did a genetics program to have dogs learn to talk to support his candidacy. That's it how cost wealthy 250 he is. million dollars. And they lick Mike. They lick Yeah. <laughs> Okay, obviously I like the ad. I wish that I didn't. It's one of the worst things about myself that I like that. But you know why I like that? Because a thousand people worked on that ad mm -hmm. and they, they spent a bunch of money to figure out exactly how to get into my brain and it worked. But it's important to note. Look at that one, I think that one's really cute. You know, the mm -hmm. Australian Shepherd's the cutest. This oh, ad has nothing, 
I, I know what you're, you think I'm gonna say. It has nothing to do with substance, like it has nothing to do with policy. No, it has nothing to do with Mike Bloomberg. No. Mike Bloomberg didn't think of this ad, he nope. didn't do one of them. It has nothing to do with it. It could be for anyone, it could be for Mike Gravel. Yep. A year ago, those ads were for Mike Gravel. Like, I realized something about myself. I like dogs with long legs. You do. Your yeah. dog has bizarrely long legs. <laughs> yes. And when you when he turns like directly away from you, you can't see him. He's see-through. <laughs> it's really weird. He's yeah. weird body proportions. But yeah, so look, like Bloomberg. Th that was I think that was a successful dog ad. And then recently there was uh, you drew attention to this yesterday. I know, I know There's what I did. Another dog, I don't know if you can call this an ad, but a video that Mayor Bloomberg put out uh, featuring a dog, and this one is awkward. Okay, take a look at this. Shaking the dog's snout. <laughs> it's so weird. I saw people respond on Twitter and say, I do the same thing with my dog. When I'm so it's not like nobody dog, does. Like, oh, but it's, it's not his dog, it's someone else's dog. And he's so, just like, I don't know. It's fine. The dog likes it. As long as the dog likes it. That, that yeah, the dog's happy. happy, but you know, it's a it's a dog. Uh, it's not a person. Um, <laughs> if you just said, here's a video of Mike Bloomberg shaking a dog's snout, that's one thing. When you see it, it's bizarrely aggressive and long, and his finger like circles the dog's very vulnerable eye. Look at that! Look at the dog owner. He's like, "I'm gonna kill you." I think he looks happy. <laughs> no, I, I know, guess. I'm kidding. I, look, I, I, when I see a dog, no matter what dog, all I want to do is touch it. So I understand the inclination, but that's mm -hmm. the weirdest possible way to do it. Yeah, he's definitely. a weird guy. Yeah, look, we're nitpicking at this point, but Are we? everything that he's put out online has been strange. And yes, we're talking about it. So maybe this was his intentional, or not his, but his campaign's yeah. uh, intentional strategy to get people to just talk about him. Because there's yeah. he offers nothing, he's not fascinating. There's no policy proposal that stands out. He hasn't been on the debate stage. We, you know, he's just, and, and also, let's not. Take away from what I think is the biggest injustice in our political system, which is a billionaire can just come in, and as long as he has the money, he can, you know, fund his way to a rise in the polls. And he, he has twelve percent today. Yeah, it's above Buttigieg. That is unacceptable. Okay, he is offering the American people nothing. Well, maybe ice cream. Don't miss your chance to win a trip to Los Angeles and have dinner with Jank, John, and me. Just head to tyt.com slash dinner in LA to register to win. Sign up for a free Aspiration Spend and Save account. Then you just register your eligibility and swipe your Aspiration card daily on purchases to gain entries. Not only are you entering to win a trip to Los Angeles and dinner with TYT hosts, you're also not depositing your hard earned money into fossil fuel exploration or production. As a friendly reminder, even if you already have an Aspiration account, you must still register for eligibility into the sweepstakes.